Hi everyone, we are in part 3 of chapter 3, cells. So today we will discuss the osmosis and tonicity. So osmosis is movement of water crossing the cell membranes using aqua porins. Okay, or water channel. Okay, now look at this cell membranes again. Okay, it has phospholipid bilayer. Okay, and it has several proteins transport proteins, ion channels, eh? and there is special channels, which is actually also protein, is called the aqua porins. Okay, so this aqua porins used by water to move in or out. Yeah, remember inside the cell we have water which is ICF and outside the cell there is also water okay so the question is how this water move whether in or out it is going to be depends on the concentration of solutes okay? so concentration of uh, solutes Okay, which one higher? Let's say if the solute concentration is higher inside the cell, so this one is solute. This is higher inside the cell, then the water will try to dissolve this. Therefore, water from outside will rush into the cell eh, in order to dissolve these molecules or these solutes until it reaches the balance eh? let's say it's less solute outside the cell eh? so water will rush into it until it will be dissolved by water so this is the movement of water, the osmosis. It will move based on the solute concentration. Now we're going to apply this characteristic into real situation. So let's say we have three container. One container two and container two. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, and each container we will put water. Okay, so water. Water. Okay, and then in each container we will put red blood cell. Okay, so this is red blood cell, which is cell. Okay, it has the 
cell membrane that the water will be able to cross this cell membrane. And again, just remember, also in the red blood cell, there is water, right? The, the, the ICF or cytosome. Okay. Now, the red blood cell, they have solute, which is sodium chloride. The concentrations normally is 0.9% sodium chloride. So 0.9% sodium chloride. 0.9% sodium chloride. Okay, so that's the concentration of solute inside the red blood cell. The first container over here, we do not give, give any salt. So this water is actually 0% sodium chloride. Okay. The second container, we put salt and then we measure it until it's reached 0.9% sodium chloride. Okay. So the same solid concentrations with the red blood cell. So inside and outside have water that have similar solid concentration. The last one on the third container, we put a lot of salt eh, until 9% sodium chloride, which is really, really salty. So more sodium chloride outside the cell compared to its inside. Now, the solutions over here that has less solute concentration compared to the red blood cell is called the hypo. Hypo means lower. Okay? Hypotonic solution. Okay? This solution over here that has similar solute concentration with the red blood cell, this solution is called isotonic solution. Iso means similar. Okay. The last water or solution over here that has 9% sodium chloride, which is really, really salty, is higher than the solid concentrations in the red blood cell. Therefore, this solution is called hyper. Okay, hyper means too much. Okay, so hypertonic solutions. Okay. Now, remember osmosis. What is osmosis? Movement of water through the cell membrane. And this water will move to the higher solute concentration in order to dissolve them, in order to make balance. If we see on the first container, there are more solutes inside the red blood cell. Therefore, the water from outside will enter into the red blood cell. A lot of them because they try to dissolve this sodium chloride, the solid concentration. And then what happened with the red blood cell? It will be swelling. Bigger, bigger, bigger. And finally, this red blood cell will be broken, explode, okay? So this condition is called hemolysis, okay? Explode. 
okay, broken. So when we put red blood cells in hypotonic solution, then the red blood cell will undergo hemolysis. Now go to the next container where the red blood cell has 0.9% sodium chloride. The water in the container also has 0.9 sodium chloride, which is similar concentration. What happened with the water? Osmosis. So the water will in or out. In and out because they are balanced already. So the water can enter or exit the cell. There is no change with the red blood cell. So the red blood cell stay fresh. Okay, stay the same, fresh. So this is actually the solution that is used by the uh, blood donor eh, in order to make the red blood cell stay fresh. They're going to put the red blood cell into isotonic solution. And sometimes this isotonic solution is also called as a buffer solution. Okay, because it will keep the red blood cell fresh. How about the third one? And the third one, you see there are more solutes outside the cell. Therefore, water will be rushed out from the cell in order to dissolve this extra solute outside the cell. And what happened with the cell? The cell become smaller because the water is leaving the cell. So the cell is actually shrink. Okay, so the cell becomes smaller. And this process is called cremation. Okay, so the cell shrinking. Okay, so this is what happens if we put the cell in the hypotonic solution. The cell will undergo hemolysis. If we put the cell in the isotonic solution or buffer solution, the cell stay fresh. Nothing happened, no change. If we put the cell in the hypertonic solution, then the cell will undergo cremation or shrinking. So this is osmosis and tonicity.